Hi folks! Today we're going to learn how to drive a stepper motor using Arduino. A stepper motor is an electromechanical device which converts electrical pulses into mechanical shaft rotation. 28BYJ48 is one of the cheapest stepper motors you can find. It is great for smaller projects or if you just want to learn about stepper motors. Stepper motors are used when precise control of the rotating shaft is required. The shaft is connected to a series of gears to reduce its speed and increase the torque of the motor. Utilizing a ULN2003 driver and an Arduino Uno provides precise timing, directional control and power management for the stepper. The driver converts the Arduino command signals into the power necessary to energize the motor windings. First let's connect the stepper motor with the driver. Next we will connect the driver to the Arduino. The 5 volts and ground on the driver will connect with 5 volts and ground from the Arduino. Driver's input pin 1 will connect to Arduino pin 11. Similarly, input pin 2 will go to pin 10, 3 to pin 9, and 4 to pin 8. First, let's add a stepper library to our project. Next, we will need to figure out the steps per revolution parameter for our stepper motor. It takes 2048 steps to rotate 360 degrees or one revolution. The stepper motors use a cogged wheel having 32 teeth and four electromagnets that form a ring around the wheel. Each high pulse scent energizes the coil, attracting the teeth closest to the cogged wheel and rotating the motor in precise steps. It has a built-in gearbox which gives it some extra torque. The output shaft of this particular stepper motor is driven through a gear ratio of 64 to 1. Next we will need to define the pin order for the stepper library. If you accidentally put 8, 9, 10, 11 here, you will not be able to change from the anti-clockwise loop to the clockwise loop. 2 to 3 milliseconds is the minimum delay between the steps, affecting the speed parameter value. The maximum speed is roughly 10 to 18 RPM at 5 volts. Let's do one full rotation clockwise and then another full rotation counterclockwise. I'm going to use this little pink Lego flag to illustrate the rotation. Let's plug the Arduino in. One full rotation in each direction is performed. Hope this tutorial helps, thanks for watching and see you next time!